my beloved friends, welcome, come on in. Find yourself a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Hmm. Simply begin deep breathing and settling yourself into this space. If you'd like, you can begin making some noises, vibrating your chest plates or different areas of your body with different frequencies of tone as you breathe and just let go of any anxiety or stress or tightness in the body or anything not supportive to your whole complete being of this present moment. Notice where the vibration of the noise that you make lands in your body, how it feels. Perfect place for us to begin right now. these tonings and the vibrations that we make right now are simply a prelude or an opening to the meditation and the journey that we're going to be going on here in a bit. Settling ourselves in. Mm-hmm. 
simply bringing in a transmission of singing for a moment. If you feel within you to make any sort of vocalization beyond just toning or vibration, go ahead, let yourself sing, let your voice be heard. Make any noises, anything that speaks to your body and your energies right now and clarity and opening your heart, your high heart and your throat. Helping you to center and clear yourself here in this sacred space that we share right now. Today I'm going to bring you on a journey to helping you connect into your wholeness, to remember your wholeness and bring that feeling, that sensation every day, every moment into your body, into your being. Remember your centered clarity, grounded in your whole column of light, your sovereign frequency, pure soul, source, essence of being. Hmm. It's amazing that every day we go through our days Sometimes in a unaware state of our body or not allowing, where we get caught in these patterns where we forget how to slow down and really just simply listen to our bodies. Let's listen to our energies and allow ourselves to begin to cohere things to flow congruently throughout our energy bodies and through our physical bodies. And so crucial for us now more and more as each of us choose the work of our highest and whole true self embodiment to remember who we truly are and be that and walk that path of sovereignty, of liberation, of freedom.
more and more and more and how that evolves and grows, recognizing that for the evolution of humanity, for the evolution of the earth is down to each individually one of us doing the work with ourselves. So gently, so gently. So it requires us truly to slow down and remember that pure centered zero point peace. The clarity, the truth, of our divinity, our holiness. Mm. Just like most of us, if not all of us, when we were children, remembering and realizing how open we were, how free we felt, how truly ourselves, more and more we were able to allow ourselves to be playfully, innocently, purely. And simply allowing it and just being it and not worrying what anyone thinks, the situation, the moment, or the circumstance. To allowing our emotions to be felt and expressed, to allow ourselves to dig deep and go deeply into those emotions, those feelings to find the truth, to find the core, to find the center, the heart, the root of those feelings at times and what they are and how they can help us in guidance and growth and wisdom, experiential embodiment through our own unique journeys and processes of expansion, advancement of embodiment of ascension and maturing, but never forgetting that pure innocence, that joy, that divine love, the holy truth of who we are with the earth and all nature, with the stars, with the planets and galaxies, with God, with source and the light, all of our guides feeling and knowing where all of us as children, I'm sure, felt at some point that we're always guided or many of us felt that we we're always guided, always had family and friends and other places, or God was always speaking to us, our highest selves and core hearts were always speaking to us, our souls, and guiding us in the right things to do, the right ways to be through each experience, real experiencing what is these choice points and experiencing based on what we chose, what's right and what's wrong, or observing others, what's right and what's wrong, and be like, okay, I can choose to be a better version of myself. Greater and greater, because I know it will inspire, influence, and help lead humanity to grow and expand just the same. In whatever pure, playful, innocent way that we experience life and saw how we can be better versions of ourselves. Which only pointed us right directly back to our centers and our cores. And each through those experiences, through all those emotions, any emotions, any feelings, any experiences, allowing us to really feel them, not ignoring them, to find that key wisdom within. Some experiences, Hmm. spaces we found ourselves in with family or with friends or with the world or seeing how things were and how that made us feel being so open so expansively open to all the energies of us and of others of nature of all life of all the dimensions and allowing it to flow through us as one whole being to experience and feel all that there is to experience feel, experience, and so infinitely ever onward learn in these human journeys and expand to better and grow ourselves as the living, ascending masters, living masters that we are here to be in the, in the ascending mastery journey so personal to each of us. That truly honoring our core hearts and following the inner guidance what is best for us and best for others 
taking care of ourselves on every layer and level before we can do anything around for others and always lifting our energies radiantly to be pure and playful to seeing environments with others of how we can clear and cohere the energies by choosing the internal our with our own internal energies to the way to be that we know will help us to relax and clear and open or help shift things within ourselves and responses around in spaces and environments with others which we know would have absolute effect and it does have so much effect on everyone around you changing your inner state of energies no matter who and anyone in all of life will perceive that will feel that and they'll begin it'll inspire them and lead them to shift and change themselves and find that core safety and softness that gentleness that purity or simply their own wholeness and groundedness and centered being in the moment and relax and release away stress or worry so simply as we slow down is when we begin to gently remember who we truly are making space in that opening expanding silence as the energies begin to clear as we do that in ourselves as it helps others to do in spaces no matter what time and space is always so different with each of those moments of how much we have what we need to do specifically in clearing ourselves and settling in ourselves or to help an environment or space by just being us and always ever onward in our lives remembering from that early childhood that clarity purity and that playfulness and that innocence and that effervescence flowing living life force chi energy through us which the core of that the root of that that radiant glowing living life force chi energy is our purity and our innocence of our inner child to grow together and lead us in our whole sovereign maturity such a point a junction point a shifting point a remembering point in this February for new begins for new shiftings of self clearing out old ways listening more to our cores and bringing in the new ways that support us in our sovereign growth and mm. evermore pointing us to places of surrender and opening purely to everything and the surrendering with grace to flow exactly what is the highest alignment with our truest selves and our cores of being in these lives to live to truly live and to truly recognize that we are the leaders the players of our game the main characters of our movie that we can direct ourselves and lead ourselves anywhere by first acknowledging, admiring the feelings and the experiences within and bringing our energies together so then we can take those steps into those things, bring in those visions and together and the feelings with them so we can take those steps into those things as we begin to heal and reclaim ourselves but simply healing and reclaiming ourselves this starts so simply as choosing our core choosing our wholeness remembering that we have always been whole in the light divine love of the universe of the earth of God and of source we've always been whole and we simply remember our whole core soul is completeness
It's throughout our lives we hold the keys to our mastery, to our growth, our ascension, individually, throughout our lives. All the keys of our soul's journey, many different lives that we've lived throughout, for a lot of us, either just on the earth plane or throughout the galaxy, the universe, or multiverse, and many different lives where we bring in the, remember the wisdoms and the feelings of home and the, the specific energies and feelings that support us now in these journeys, specific frequencies and all these multiple layers and levels of frequencies that bring us deeper and deeper into those cores. Let's remember so many different aspects of ourselves and true gnosis that help lead us and guide us to be building the new earth through us and our sovereignty and our leadership. It all comes together in the core of our souls and who we truly are. It helps us remember our true gifts within ourselves. <laughs> our true gifts. What do we, what do you have an abundance of inside of you that you see as such a need for humanity? Such a need for animals, plants, insects, elements, all of nature, whatever you're drawn to work with. Or simply being there with those gifts to work with all of life on this planet and beyond. For anyone and everyone out there, to simply open our hearts. Simply relaxing all the tension in our bodies, our shoulders and neck. And our chest and our back. In this now moment. Our abdomen and hips, thighs and knees. Slowly scanning down our bodies to our feet. muscles tension to relax, our bodies to open. Beginning our deep breathing again into our lower belly throughout this. Body scanning, relaxing, energetic opening. Breathing opens our meridians. Deep breathing into our lower belly and holding at the top allows our vagus nerve, our main central nerve signal system of our nervous system to begin to activate more, bringing clarity to our minds. Letting that breath go all the way to the bottom all that air out, holding for a brief moment. Helps our lymphatic systems to flow, all the helps our natural body detoxification system to flow, to open, to process. Simply, all that's to say, we're focusing our deep breathing, leaning it back in, <laughs> Our body scanning, allowing our muscles to relax, our organs to depressurize as we light up with our loving awareness to spaces within our body. That we notice along that scanning and breathing. To open and clear.
I simply ask all of my guides and guardians, angels, galactics, masters, ancestors, family and friends, hmm. my elven family of the higher dimensions of the ascended galaxies, my highest source connected aspects of self, source God flow through me and be with me in this moment and be with each individual. Just sit in this space. Your own guides and guardians, ancestors, your own soul lineage, your own ancestry, genetic and lineage to be with you and support. God's divine love and living light flows through this space infinitely, helping us to open and clear, simply pointing us straight back to our wholeness and our core hearts and the truth of who we really are, and our uniqueness, our unique connections as source and universe and Mother Earth. So I invite you to breathe into your heart. Your awareness focused on your heart. On your front of your body and the back of your body. Light it up with your awareness. Light it up with an energy of opening. Truth. Peace. Expanding whole true love for all of creation, humanity, nature, and the earth. safe, you are free, you are so loved and so worthy, you being here incarnate shows how extraordinarily loved you are by God and Source, by the universe, by the earth, by all your guides, galactics, masters, family and friends, higher dimensional. Being here in this human journey of these times is quite a challenging one. Quite an extraordinary journey of inner to outer wholeness, self-mastery, ascending mastery. That's why we chose to be here. It's a true opportunity and true privilege. Now begin breathing into your crown chakra top of your head, allowing that to open with your third eye and the crown chakra, into your throat and your heart, so your upper and middle dantians, feeling and lighting up the top of your head. 
the awareness to open with love. Open is to source, the galaxies, stars, planets, down flowing through you into your heart. As we breathe into our lower dantians, our sacral root, solar plexus. the frequency is a lot slower as the talk goes a lot faster if you're really opening allow yourself to receive your energy body mm. giving your loving awareness giving that energy that intentional awareness intentionality true intentionality and authenticity from your pure awareness, focus. Opening the root, gates of light. Sacral, so much where your living life force and chi is generated in both of those energy centers. So your energies are flowing around in your body come up as little emotions little thoughts that cause little electrical impulses or tensions in your body if you'd like you can simply let those go for now or you can tune in gently for a moment and like, okay what is that feeling what is my focus now what am i choosing and how do i let that energy flow and release Sometimes there's doubt in ourselves or uncertainty or a slight fright of allowing ourselves to open. Instead, all you need to do, do is bring that God's love, your centered wholeness, all of creation, that pure divine love, so gently and purely, and allow those energies to open and flow. You may notice your heartbeat changing up and down. As you allow those energies to clear, you notice your heart gently slows or relaxes more. the streaming column of light to whatever color or frequency of feeling for you at this time. Hmm. This works for you. Down through you. The crown chakra of the heart. Down through to the root into your feet and allowing your feet to open up feet chakras and energy centers and your awareness to open your feet acknowledging the legs and your feet 
as the energy flows downward. And allow your hands to open as well with your heart. You're focusing to work together with your whole body and your breathing to bring that stream of energy. But we're going to be growing it into your sacred sovereign tree of your holy living infinity. Reminds you of your strong, patient, wise, slow down, clear column of sovereignty, of wholeness and truth. So as that column of light reaches your feet, allow it to go down through into the earth. to the crystalline, diamond white, pure center of Mother Earth, of the heart of Mother Earth, her core center of soul and wholeness, and the new earth potential that rises through her, that rises through you, sending her so much love and gratitude, being in that space in connection with that column of light to receive as you give your gratitude and love, conscious awareness, energy, time, giving to her, sharing with her. That pure crystalline diamond white light Allow to receive back whatever it is for you to receive. And your connection and clarity back into your heart, back into your root. And back into your creational womb space of which all men and women have. Men have an etherical womb space of creation, which we birth, but foster the growth of our creations that rise into our hearts, just the same. Just slightly different. <laughs> now with that column of light, imagine you're you having great roots of a great tree from your feet, your root chakra, your feet chakras into your earth star chakra about three to 12 inches below your feet. Stretching deep into mother earth, deep into those soils, minerals, elements, feeling that nurturing love and abundance of prosperous life. So healthful and living and radiant vitality ripe for new infinite growth potential. Nesting and nurturing within Mother Earth, those roots so secure. Feeling that love, feeling that support, feeling that anchoring, that grounding. So we allow those roots just the same with that column of light to stretch all the way down to that diamond white, pure crystalline core of the new earth. Of the earth and her wholeness and totality, wrapping around that core, allowing that light to fill and raise and flow through those roots back up through the trunk of you, your sacred tree, your wholeness of your front and back body. One and the same whole. Rising through that trunk, opening your body up through those upper chakras into your soul star, about eight to 12 inches above your head. And out, 
great tree out, great stretching into the branches from that trunk all the way out into the cosmos. Galaxy, galaxies to the universal center to stretch, connect and contain all the galaxies within their branches and leaves. A great golden column of a tree with a tree trunk and roots up into the silvery leaves, pure white silvery leaves. Innocent and soft, the purest, clearest frequencies of gold and silver, all to be seen, all to be heard as the great cosmic winds and the earth winds and air elements flow through your tree, your leaves and branches, singing your song and dancing. The great cosmic air currents, winds the earth and cosmic waters that nourish your roots within your soils, within the soils of Mother Earth. The great tree of holy living infinity, seeing an iridescent rainbow glow at the edges of the living light of your tree. Connecting through all dimensions, time and space, all galaxies, stars and planets. Standing so strong, so firm, but so soft, so slow, so wide, so clear. Holding that unique frequency and signature of energy that is your, your pure essence of being and your gifts to remember and reclaiming and feeling deep, deep, deep into your core of your wholeness of who you truly are. Feeling deep. Holding space for those feelings. to help bring you reclaiming back together in wholeness. As you always are, there's nothing to really gain because you always are whole and there's simply a choice of remembrance and beingness as this tree, so great, so pure, and it's living, stretching, connecting infinity throughout all of creation. Feeling the galactic and sun and star cores. Seeing the potential of their ascension, of their growth, their up-leveling next level versions of themselves, just the same as you and your stepping journeys of choosing your wholeness consistently in your daily lives each moment. Seeing the highest potential of you, the highest potential at your highest self, core of being shows to you daily, that God source shows to you daily, making those courageous steps into that, allowing it to be in your body, allowing it to clear out anything, allowing any healings to take place that are needed personally for you in this moment, allowing any clear clarity of energies, all that is not you, all that is not supportive of you, your living light of light, prosperous and true and abundant to flow from you, emanating and giving to all life, and therefore to flow back to you, giving all that you need in support of your life, your being, your mission, your purpose, true as you become, more and more sovereign, which you always are as well in your wholeness, you're always sovereign. Nothing to gain but to remember and to truly embody this frequency, this knowingness, this awareness, this remembrance. 
body and be. Daily, daily commitment to your healthful, radiant vitality. Daily commitment to your energies, your feelings, and clarity, and coherency, coherency, congruency, and togetherness of your energy body, light body, and auric field with your physical. Listening what is needed. uniquely, creatively, for you, in whole, self-energetic, balanced. It's choosing this and yourself first, so then you can greater that profound, expansive radiance, helpful, inspiring, leading, transformational, shifting, raising, growing, of vibration and energy for all others in all life. A daily commitment in each moment to taking care of yours, to slowing down, taking that leadership in charge, no matter where and what. Finding that power in your peace, that power in your truth, the beauty Slowing down in your subtleties to bring to greater, stronger steps with a clear focus. Remembering this column of light. Remembering this holy tree of living affinity that is you and stretched throughout all omnidimensional creation in this universe, perhaps beyond in the multiverse. Feeling that connection in your unique centered beingness within all of that as the universe, multiverse, and omnidimensionally is centered within you. It is all within you. Hoping to guide and remind you being open to receiving that guidance and how to truly be your best whole self every day, every moment. space. Thank you for joining me in this one. Thank you for putting up with a little, with a little bit. <laughs> Not putting up, but I did repeat a lot of things. But it's for a good reason to bring through deeper or other facets of the same frequencies. A greater intentionality of the energies behind what I'm transmitting. space a moment as we make our ways out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. perhaps bring it through a song bring it through an expression a language speaking or anything that just wants to be shared from you in your pure your pure essence through your voice that vibrates through your body and your field and reality mm -hmm.
of sun effect, be truly you, be your whole beloved selves, your beloved star, your beloved earth self, in union and in wholeness, because in wholeness everything is in union, and remember in seeing all those polarities, how they're each uniquely perfectly as they are, and how they can marry together and work in a greater magnitude. Greater magnitude of harmony and wholeness, truth. Anyway, before I go on more, <laughs> thank you. Love you guys.